Steph Curry just showed he's one of the greatest basketball players of all time, a future Hall of Famer. Yeah. Matt Son joins us now. And Matt, now we're talking about another sport he's got a passion for. Yeah, that would be the game of golf. While Curry may not be one of the best golfers ever, he has st helped start a new tour to help some potential future greats. And the first stop was here in the Chicago area. 16-year-old Shia Lowe from Oswego East is one of over 60 young girls and boys from all over the country teeing it up at Cog Hill this week for the inaugural stop on Steph Curry's new underrated golf tour. I used to play basketball when I was like in middle school, so I was like, ooh, Stephen Curry's doing this? That's like a good match of both the sports that I like to play. But I didn't even know stuff like this existed, so I think it's a really good opportunity for me and other people to play in. That really is the purpose of this new golf endeavor, to provide opportunities, especially for those underserved and underrepresented in the game of golf. Well, underrated is pretty much is a uh, byproduct of who, where he's from. You know, he represents the underrated. Underrated started about as a, a basketball tour. The messaging of underrated is pretty much giving power and uh, notoriety to the underdog. And the most important is, you know, in increase the participation numbers. You know, when you think about the game of golf, uh, at the introductory level, 17% of black and brown kids are at the representation. But when we get to the higher levels, collegiate golf is less than 2%. So what do we have to do to increase that competitive level of golf? And I think having a feeder system such as this can do just that. Helping that cause, the tour covers all expenses for the golfers selected to play. This is the first of five stops this year with trips to Phoenix, Tampa, Houston, and San Francisco on the horizon. I'm super excited because I haven't been to a lot of the places like Texas, and so I'm really excited to go to Houston and Arizona and Tampa, and there's going to be college coaches everywhere, so it'll be fun to have that kind of exposure to different places and stuff and know that those places could be on my radar for uh, universities. Shiel wants to come out on this tour and have her own success, of course, but she also hopes that maybe others can be encouraged by what she's doing. Inspiring other um, black people or girls in general mm -hmm. and to show them that there's that even though you might be a minority in a certain sport or something like that, you can still rise to the top and become the greatest. And Count Will Lowry among those amazed at how much these young golfers like Shiel seem to already get what it takes to succeed. Amazing is not the word. It, it, it's, it's another name for it. I can't describe it. But these kids, uh, I'm learning so much already just from uh, the competitiveness, the drive. I just love the fact what they're doing. They already get the it portion of it. So what's your ultimate goal with golf? I think my ultimate goal would be to become pro or go to like a top university school and just be able to explore and travel and meet new people and can make new connections. And hopefully this can help, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this will help a lot. Yeah, and that event at Coghill wrapped up yesterday. So